time, space, compression. The world is shrinking. Well, not exactly, but globalization has certainly made it feel like that. Time, space, compression describes the relationship between time and space. It is the idea that through technology, places usually distantly far from each other seem closer together. Today, if I in the UK want to call my friend Ash in Australia, all I have to do is FaceTime her and I can see her instantly. If it was a hundred years ago, I wouldn't have been able to pick up the phone and the only way of getting a quick message would be Morse code. But what happens if I wanted to speak to her face to face? I couldn't get on a plane. I would have to get a steamship taking 40 days, which actually I probably would have been pleased with because in 1850, 60 years earlier, it had probably taken four months in a traditional sailing ship. This example illustrates time-space compression. It is much faster to connect with someone halfway around the world today than it was in the past. Places distantly far from each other seem much closer, or time and space is reduced. Janelle coined this term in 1968 as time-space convergence, studying the journey times between Edinburgh and London. Harvey in 1990 argued time-space changes were essential in the capitalist world, where global economic empire builders, or TNCs, use technology to destruct spatial barriers and search for new markets. This is also called the shrinking world effect. As time and space are compressed, the world over time seems smaller and smaller. Today, it is the rapid advancements in technology, so travel, such as planes, and also communications, such as mobile phones, which is enabling the world to feel smaller or to feel compressed.